Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. This video, I simply want to talk about Elasticsearch and essentially its popularity. Now, as you know, first question that I would like to answer, well, what is Elasticsearch, right? Well, Elasticsearch is a search engine based on Lucene library. It provides distributed, multi-tenant capable, full text search engine with an HTTP web interface. Now, almost all the companies are essentially moving to Elasticsearch for the, for the search stack. Why? Because it allows you to search across terabyte worth of data in a matter of seconds. This speed is really, really insane. No database can match even close to this speed. There have been companies who are essentially getting almost 15 terabyte worth of data on Elasticsearch every single day and they are searching across such massive amount of data in few seconds how is that possible because of Elasticsearch what it what uh, makes Elasticsearch even more interesting is a popular plugins and libraries right for example Kibana is a tool that allows you to visualize your data in Elasticsearch then you have plugins such as Logstash which allows you to ingest data into Elasticsearch you have several other plugins such as file beats matrix beats that allows you to collect information vital stats from server and all the other services into a one central place right which is why Elasticsearch is very very popular companies like Indeed Glassdoor Monster all the big companies have been using Elasticsearch for example a popular example here on Indeed is here when you search for a job where do you think how do you think that this jobs appear so fast right that is nothing but Elasticsearch behind the scenes all these is full uh, full essential Elasticsearch uh, this resume is the job essential is stored on the on an index these card pane data uh, that is also uh, stored in Elastic, Elasticsearch uh, that is what makes a search so fast you can search across various city uh, zip code uh, Elasticsearch supports geo based query which allows you to search across any particular location in a matter of seconds right so geo based queries okay another popular example is again kayak right kayak as you can see when you essentially try to you know search something on kayak here on the top uh, sorry here on the left hand side you see facets these are called facets that allow you to filter down your result for example i can uh, filter down by um, the hotel class uh, then i can filter down by price this is a range based query right these are filters that are available right i can click and automatically it will filter out this uh, information then there are ranking algorithms built on on, on the top of elastic set which allows them to score the best hotel on the top of the search right uh, right again here are some of the more stats right about elastic search um, uh, nearly, um, you know, uh, uh, 11,600, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, people are using Elasticsearch by industries, right? If you had to see uh, by states, alone in the United States, there are about 18,268 um, uh, companies who have adopted to use Elasticsearch, right? These stats are simply uh, mind-blowing, right? Uh, so as you can see, right, uh, this is essentially for all the customers that are using Elasticsearch majority, 73% are small and 15% are large and 7% are medium sized company. Amazing. So as you can see, the use of Elasticsearch, right? It, it is growing, uh, right? It is extremely, extremely trending technology. Now, uh, it is also important for us to learn the skills required to master this technology. Uh, this is a very complicated technology and you wouldn't uh, be able to understand things in one day which is why you want to approach things in part right for example the first thing that you want to see is okay what is Elasticsearch read about it read about the architecture then just try to install Elasticsearch try to visualize your data then essentially go into queries queries is also a, a, a giant domain right where you can essentially uh, write um, you know search queries you can write ranking queries you can do aggregation you can implement pipelines there's a lot lot more right then comes in a whole new domain of ingestion you work on ingestion um, ingesting massive amount of data into Elasticsearch for example terabyte petabyte scale of data so you, you might be using Logstash or you might create your own data pipeline using SQS Lambda or you might be using Kinesis data stream Firos uh, straight into Elasticsearch some people are managing on-prem some people are on the cloud so 
again, as I said, uh, there's a lot, lot more to learn and explore. Then you can explore about plugins, right? For example, file beats, matrix beats, and there are so many other plugins that there are available. Uh, this is not it, right? Then comes the art of visualizing that data. Once you have the data in Elasticsearch, now you want to visualize the data, right? All popular companies, for example, Uber, Netflix, they are using Elasticsearch for searching. How do you, uh, what do you think like when you go to the Uber app and you pinch your finger, uh, does that happen like a magic? No, right? They are searching across that data uh, in near real time and showing you the status, right? All this is powered by Elasticsearch. I hope this motivates you and excites you to learn more about Elasticsearch and why is it so trending. Elasticsearch will allow you to essentially search across such massive, massive amount of volume in a matter of seconds. So if you even have unstructured data, simply dump the unstructured data to Elasticsearch and then you can simply uh, start doing keyword searches based on that. Then comes a whole new uh, a game of essentially maintaining the Elasticsearch cluster. For example, shards, replicas, maintaining, making sure the cluster is healthy. That's a whole new uh, uh, place in Elasticsearch. You, you essentially monitor all the matrix, uh, the JVM memory, uh, and all these stuff. Then there is alerting in Elasticsearch. So basically you wanna take action when a certain uh, event occurs. Then alert, uh, after that, anomaly detection, machine learning in Elasticsearch. There is so, so much, right? It's a very trending technology and I strongly encourage you to go learn about Elasticsearch. Uh, it's a really, really fun technology to learn about. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.